My great-grandparents immigrated from Ireland in the 1890s, bringing many recipes with them. It is said that every family in Ireland has its own recipe for Irish soda bread that have been passed down through the generations. That is one of the reasons that so many soda bread recipes are different, in, and yet they are all using the basic ingredients, all ingredients which were readily available. To make my grandmother Donnelly's Irish soda bread, you will need four cups of white flour, four tablespoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of coarse salt, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, one cup of buttermilk, and one egg. You'll also need a prepared cast iron skillet or a parchment lined baking sheet and some butter and buttermilk mixed together to baste over the top of the bread before it's baked. You'll start by adding your four cups of flour to a large mixing bowl. And we're going to add all of our dry ingredients at this point. Two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Mix it all together. And the next step is to add your four tablespoons of room temperature butter. I've sliced mine to help it to come to room temperature faster. Add it into your dry mixture. And this is where you'll want to use your pastry cutter. And if you don't have a pastry cutter, then you can just use your fingers. But this is much like any other time that we're cutting butter into a dry flour mixture. You, you're kind of looking to get it all blended until it kind of looks like about the size of a pea. Your next step is just to add your egg to your buttermilk and with a fork, mix it lightly. One cup of buttermilk, one slightly beaten egg, and mix it all together until it forms a soft dough, at which time we'll turn it out onto the breadboard and form it into a ball. Bring your dough into a nice round ball. It'll take a little while to work with it and get all the dry ingredients incorporated, but you don't want to overwork it. So once your bread is in a nice round ball, it's time to transfer it into your cast iron skillet or onto your baking sheet, whichever you're using. And now a very important step, using a serrated blade, you need to cut across an inch deep into the top of the bread. Superstition has it that this will let the fairies out while it's breaking and protect the household from any evil. And your final step before putting your bread in the oven is just to, using your butter and buttermilk mixture and a brush, just generously brush this over the top of the bread. And then this will go into a 400 degree preheated oven for 40 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven. Because most homes in Ireland didn't have ovens, the breads were actually baked in cast iron kettles over open fires. Using the same recipe, I baked one loaf in a cast iron skillet and the other, adding raisins, on a parchment lined baking sheet. Either way of baking, this Irish soda bread is sure to become a family favorite.